Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I'm going to share a flip of these um, Mini Mania colouring books by Gabby Wolf. So um, this was a requested, a requested video where I was asked um, if I would do a flip of this Mini Mania colouring book number one. So I thought why not show you um, the book two as well because I recently purchased that so let's start with um, the oops there we go right that should be okay mini mania uh, book one so this is by Gabby Wolf who is fast becoming my uh, one of my favorite artists so love the cute pictures so it is an Amazon printed book so printed in Great Britain but it's not it's like the nicer Amazon paper in my view anyway so so we have the title page and then we've got these cute frogs here look at them all it's like they're yawning but yeah that's really cute and then we've got this book belongs to page with these cute characters here a little worm popping out and then a little intro and tips for colouring um, and then we get into the actual pages. So we've got some mushrooms here, got a little bear in the window, little bears here and a little bear there at the door. Very, very cute. So yeah, these don't have the black um, background of the page, but they're just straightforward and white. But you might have seen these books about on YouTube. And of course, Amazon, they are incredibly cute. I really like this Mini Mania world. Did a little bit of a trying out of some pencils there. Can't remember which pencils they were. I just wanted to get started. And these little picks are really, really cute for you to just, you know, do a little bit. Gorgeous cake here. Then we've got two inside scenes. We've got kitchen and a sitting room or a lounge tree one that's like a spring page to me then we've got this owl which has got some leaf like hair there and we've got a little bear brushing the leaf so these guys are all, I think, washing or cleaning the owl, doing some maintenance there. There's a little nail there that um, this bear's hammering in. Really, really cute. Then we've got a little scene inside, like a little bit like a suitcase, like a whole little house. Yeah, it is a house, look, home. But inside a suitcase. And then this is one that I completed as a buddy, um, as a November buddy colour page with um, Connie from Colouring Chemist here on YouTube and yeah quite pleased with how that came out, it's really fun colouring this um, I didn't use any alcohol markers, I just used pencil, gel pens, metallic paints and the usual stuff oh look what's happened here so, yeah, I think I might have not had a page, but look, this comes off just with an eraser. I think it's just some of the um, sort of pencil marks going through, that's all it is. But yeah, it does come off, like this little, this little bit here, look, it will come off quite easily. So that's fine, but yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful page. Got like little wall pictures on, on with the staircases going up. Um, I've seen this one done and it's absolutely stunning. I can't remember who it was, but yeah, I've seen it on YouTube done. It was absolutely stunning. That's a little housing because Gabby actually does the um, houses one, two, and three books without the characters, and um, those were the first books that she. She sort of published, um, anyway, in, in terms of colouring that I know of. And they were really, 
really nice. I really like the artistic style, but with the little characters, I think it just brings it to a whole new level of absolute cuteness. This is really cute as well, a little underwater scene. We've got our little frog. Could imagine doing this one in, in springtime. Our little bunnies. Another little house. It's a trunk house. It actually looks gorgeous. So beautiful. I love that. And then we've got a mushroom house with carrots in the garden growing. Let me know what you think of this book. I'm sure you agree it's really, really cute. This is another one that I really like. I really like her style, her art style. Three little pigs. This is like a, a home on water. And then we've got this immensely cute scene this could be one that you could possibly do on Valentine's Day it's very very cute and then we've got the second part of the colouring book so these are all repeated um, but with faded line versions basically the lighter line versions I do prefer prefer the darker lines personally and then at the back we've got one, two, three colour test pages with a little picture, cute little picture at the bottom as well. And then this is Gabby, I presume. And yeah, gorgeous little cute picture at the bottom. And then these are her books. Oh yeah, the Wonder Worlds series as well. I've got those. I think I've got the first one. I'm not sure I've got the second one. I don't have these two. Uh, I have that one though. So I have all of these and book one, I think, of the Wonder Worlds. So yeah, gorgeous book. Um, so let's have a look at Mini Mania colouring book two while we're here. This um, picture at the front is absolutely beautiful. I really want to get that done. I'm hoping to get that done in December, actually. It's one of my non-Christmas pages. So same format and um, paper as the original which is Amazon printed paper what what a beautiful cute book belongs to page and then a lovely lovely border in the introduction and then I really really like this detailed what a detail covering page this would look stunning once it's done absolutely beautiful um, and I love that some of these pictures are, you know, encircled. But, but I like the detail. And then we've got these little circular images. How cute. So beautiful. And then we've got a full-size image of a tree. With the little characters here and little bees. So. And then another little home. I really can't wait until our next book. I know I need to colour in these first. And then a picnic. Won't be doing that anytime soon, not in the UK anyway, with it being absolutely freezing cold. This is a very trendy house. And then we've got the inside of the home. I really like this. Got a little kitchen, cute little lounge, little bedroom, I think. A bedroom I'm not sure and then some more cute little images I feel like I want to color every single one of them and then we've got these little jars and I think that's amazingly cute as well I'm not very good with glass so I'd color the image and then probably just use white Posca to to make the um, make it look glass like, but this is the one that I'm hoping to do for December, which is like a non Christmas one because it looks so cute. Absolutely looks. It's probably the best one in this book, in my view. We've got a little flower shop. I might change my mind. You never know. And then 
Oh, some cute bees, another little spring type one. A little pond, a little frog there. Oh, look how how absolutely cute is that? Look at this. It's actually a little worm with sunglasses on. I mean, could you get any cuter than that? That just cannot be any cuter. It really can't. And look at oh, look, little ladybird dipping its feet into the pond. Oh gosh. You can tell that I'm a sucker for cuteness, as are most of us. Oh, sorry, I went through that page too quick. So yeah, they just like they just her characters are just beautiful. I think I'll probably be buying all her books. So yeah, this one is really lovely as well. I really like this page. I feel like I want to just colour this book entirely now. I'm just so busy at the moment, mega, mega busy. So cannot find time to, to do very much. Oh, this is a lovely cute page as well, like an open book. Oh. Quite like this one as well. Reminds me a little bit of Joanna Basford's, you know, the shelves pages with, with things on them. Home sweet home. And then we've got lots of various objects here on this page. You could just practice your colouring, use it as a tester page. And then we've got like a little fishbowl. And we've got a little label here, friends forever. A little worm. The little mushroom houses, and then we've got the second part of the colouring book there with the lighter version of the pictures, and then we've got our colour test pages with our little characters at the bottom. So cute! And there we go, and that's it. Those are the amazing cute mini mania one and two colouring books flip sorry it's taken a while um to the person who asked for the flip of this i actually forgot and then i remembered so yeah um hope you found these useful let me know what you think of these books until next time guys take care happy colouring bye